Hey everyone, and welcome to my channel. Today, we're diving into the fascinating story of Google, a name synonymous with internet search. But Google wasn't always the tech giant it is today. It all started with two Stanford students and a crazy idea. Let's rewind to 1996. The early internet was a wild west of information. Search engines at the time were like primitive shovels trying to sift through an ever-growing mountain of data. Larry Page and Sergey Brin, both PhD students at Stanford, were frustrated by this. They envisioned a search engine that could intelligently analyze the connections between websites, not just keywords. Their solution was Backrub, named after its ability to analyze a website's backlinks, which are essentially incoming links from other websites. Backrub's algorithm treated these backlinks like votes of importance. The more backlinks a website had, the more relevant it was deemed to be. This was a revolutionary approach to search, and it quickly gained traction within Stanford. Backrub quickly gained traction within Stanford, but Larry and Sergey knew they had something much bigger on their hands. They believed their search algorithm had the potential to revolutionize the way people access information online. However, turning their research project into a real-world product required funding. Luckily, an opportunity came knocking in 1998. Andy Bechtolsheim, co-founder of Sun Microsystems, was impressed by their work. Recognizing the potential of their idea, Bechtolsheim wrote them a check for $100,000, a seed investment that would prove pivotal. With this funding, Google Inc. was officially born. The name, Google, itself is a testament to their ambitious vision. It's a play on the word, Google, a mathematical term for the number one followed by 100 zeros. By choosing this name, Larry and Sergey signaled their intent to organize the vast and ever-growing amount of information on the web. The early Google team was small but mighty. In addition to Larry Page and Sergey Brin, there was Scott Hassan, an exceptional programmer who is often referred to as Google's unofficial third founder. Hassan played a critical role in the development of the initial Google search engine. With limited resources, the team worked tirelessly out of a rented garage in Susan Wojcicki's Menlo Park, California home. Wojcicki would later become the CEO of YouTube, another Google subsidiary. The workspace wasn't glamorous, but it fostered a collaborative and innovative atmosphere. They were all driven by a shared mission, to create a search engine that was faster, more accurate, and easier to use than anything else available at the time. Google didn't stop at search. They recognized the potential of the internet to revolutionize many aspects of our lives, and they began aggressively developing a wide range of products that went far beyond just searching for information. In 2004, they launched Gmail, a free email service that quickly gained popularity for its speed, massive storage capacity, and powerful search functionality. Google Maps followed soon after, offering free, user-friendly online maps and navigation, forever changing the way we explore the world. In 2008, Google revolutionized the mobile phone industry with the launch of the Android operating system, a free, open-source platform that has become the dominant force in smartphones. Today, Android powers billions of devices around the world. These are just a few examples of how Google has expanded its reach beyond search, becoming an essential part of our digital lives. They continue to develop new products and services, from cloud storage with Google Drive to online video conferencing with Google Meet, all driven by their core mission of organizing the world's information and making it universally accessible and useful. From a dorm room project to a global tech leader, Google's story is one of innovation, ambition, and a constant drive to improve the way we access information. What are your favorite Google products? Let me know in the comments below. If you're interested in learning how boxing went from the back alleys to the bright lights, check out my latest video.